Hello, I am uh, Jorge Ricardo Escobar Carrasco. I am working as a full stack web developer on my own. And today with this video, I'm going to explain what I'm going to be working on on this week. Um, probably by the end of the month, I'm going to be having uh, a fully functional Node.js website. Okay, let's get to it. Um, uh, last year, I developed this website. Uh, it's called Colegio Montessori de la Vera Cruz. That's the name of the um, of the school I've been working on. Uh, last year, I built this uh, alongside my wife, which is a front-end web developer. And this is a very uh, simplistic website. Basically, it's just like a glorified uh, billboard on the internet for uh, for the private school that is uh, promoting. Um, let's navigate a little bit around here. Uh, you can see on top, uh, nothing fancy, just a main menu. Uh, we do have a, a, an added carousel here. Uh, the technologies I've been using so far is basic HTML, basic CS, uh, CSS, and JavaScript for some formularies and, and animations. Uh, most of the time I've been using uh, Bootstrap. Uh, the Bootstrap uh, library or framework in order to make this um, uh, more attractive. And it's helping me a lot to allow myself to build this in a responsive manner. Um, I wonder if I can show it to you right here. Let's see, in SPET. Um, here, let me show you. Uh, this will be the, the, the mobile version or the responsive version. Uh, let's try an iPad. This is the iPad size. Uh, let's try an iPhone. There we go. Uh, this is an iPhone, uh, the iPhone view, which is basically um, now uh, all the website is going to be condensed in this form and you can um, view it in, in horizontal manner if you want. Most of the time people is going, are going to be watching this website uh, in a vertical manner. Uh, nothing too fancy. As you can see here, I've been uh, doing a heavy use of the Bootstrap framework. Uh, let's try the iPhone X, just for um, being able to to see the entire. So uh, all of this is being written on basic HTML, um, CSS for for the styling, and JavaScript for some behaviors and animations. Uh, nothing too fancy, as you can see here. Uh, the mobile version looks pretty much the same. If we change into the responsive version, you can see how uh, Bootstrap is allowing me to show this website uh, in several sizes. Uh, I contemplate not just mobile and desktop sizes. I contemplate uh, iPad size, tab tablet size, and and what will be called um, um, the laptop size. Let me see if I have an iPad size. This is the iPad size, as you can see. In, imagine that this is the iPad being, being shown, um, the horizontal view of the iPad size. As you can see here, uh, I put a lot of attention to the different sizes. Um, let's uh, explore order. Uh, this is the, this, here, do, here we have a broken image. I should take the, uh, care of this later. Uh, a lot of broken images. Uh, I haven't uh, taken a look on this website for a year already. I haven't touched it for a year. Uh, I should be taking care of these broken image links. Uh, anyway, let's close this. Uh, more broken images. I wonder why this is. Uh, anyway, the thing is, um, uh, this is a website that I developed for a, a year ago. Uh, this is the people wor working there. Uh, most of these people are no, um, some of these people are no longer working there. I wonder if I, I should be changing that too. There is a lot of work to be done. So, and I want to show you this. This is a, for, a form which is used for sending emails to, um, to the college, um, how do you call it? Um, uh, to the college uh, email, official email. So uh, you fill this form and you send the form using the the send button, the the, com the submit button there. Um, everything is in Spanish because um, I live in Mexico, and this school is based on uh, 
uh, in Mexico. So uh, you send this information via an HTTP um, request. Um, well, that's, that is the intention in the future. Right now, it's just a basic uh, JavaScript script, and I just open whatever application you have installed on your phone or your desktop PC, uh, and, and basically just uh, use a, a basic mail to command link in order to send this as an email. Um, basically, everything uh, on this form is going to be running on the client side. So I'm not using any sort of backend. And if you are wondering um, where I'm hosting this place, uh, well, I am hosting it for free uh, on GitHub pages. Basically, I'm not paying for a hosting solution here uh, because this is a pro bono. And we're getting more broken links. I do believe that my wife was using um, uh, social media pictures uh, on this link. So basically, uh, what she may not know at the time, and I didn't know either, is that uh, if we use, let's see if we can load this picture. No. If I try to do, uh, there we go. We're getting a URL signature expire, which means that if we are, this is a, a Facebook page image. So it means that the URL for this particular image has already expired which means that the link here, since it's static, it means that uh, Facebook changed the original URL and I'm no longer able to refer to it directly. So never mind that, that's why the image is broken. So we should be hosting all of our images here in this case. Uh, there is a, a gallery, a picture gallery, and every single of these, um, these are all the videos for the website, um, another button to to direct you to the um, to the subscription page, which is basically the the email form that I showed you before. Uh, and one of these galleries, uh, let's try one. Uh, you can see pictures here, uh, where you can actually see uh, the kids um, uh, being kept on on this private school and. Um, uh, doing some uh, activities of cleaning and taking care of the gardens, you know, uh, and several activities being done on this Montessori school. Well, so far so good. All of this work was done by my wife, uh, Cecilia Cortez. Uh, shout out to her. And this is our, the, the yoga classes, uh, physical activities, etc. So um, this is a, a contact form which is basically a copy and paste of the original email form. So I'm showing you all of this. This is, a, this is the Q&A, um, or may I say the, the FAQ, which is basically uh, the frequently asked questions um, that are being answered here. Uh, what do, what else? And that's basically all of the, uh, all of the entire website, basically. Uh, is, um, so uh, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to create a Node.js project that will allow me to refactor this entire static website into uh, a web app using Node. So what I'm going to be building today is going to be uh, the basic, um, basically I'm going to, to, to refactor this entire website, as I said before, into a Node.js uh, web app. I'm going to use the opportunity to change the Bootstrap version to version five, which is the current version of Bootstrap. Um, other than that, I'm not going to be making any other big changes. Um, obviously, I'm going to be choosing this, the, the entire stack uh, since uh, the front end to the back end to the deployment stack. Um, at this point, I, I'm not going to be choosing um, a deployment point so far because I'm going to develop the entire website locally right now. And by the time I finish with this, I'm going to, now, now I understand why I only getting jobs by the, by the end of the development cycle because uh, it's not necessary to have uh, a deployment point at this point because I'm going to be developing all of this and there is already um, a static version of the website running. So I don't really need myself. Oh, oh I, I forgot to mention something. 
Um, these buttons here um, on the left and the right. Yes, I, it's been a while since I've been connecting to Facebook. Um, uh, no, never mind. Let me see. Well, let me show you the. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you can see on the left side. Uh, on on. I wonder if I can point it. Uh, there is a little icon there. And another one on the other side of, on the other side of the screen. Those are the the Facebook Messenger app and the WhatsApp Messenger uh, app buttons. If you click those on your phone, you are going to open uh, the Messenger app or the WhatsApp app, and you are going to be allowed to directly uh, message um, the accounts for 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 the college. Basically, the most used one is going to be the WhatsApp. Uh, most of the parents are working on WhatsApp right now. Uh, the Facebook application, uh, the Facebook Messenger app is not really that use useful anyway. Okay, so uh, that will be basically the plan. I'm going to refactor this entire website today, um, and I'm going to be making um, routes to every single link, I guess. I should be translating this uh, HTML code into EGS um, view uh, a scripting language, basically copy pasting the HTML and replacing the, the sensible points with incoming data from the request. So basically what that means is that I'm going to be translating or uh, basically converting these HTML web pages into EGS um, uh, views for Node.js. Basically, converting this website into a dynamic one, but I'm not going to be building anything new. I'm just going to uh, convert this website into Node.js app, and that will be the word for today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work in the sense that uh, I'm going to be refactoring a lot of this code, and I'm going to be creating the, the fundamental base for all the work that is going to be done in the future. Well, that's uh, the plan for today. Thank you for listening and see you later.